The Sunday School lesson for January the 14th, 2024 is the Household of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 through 22. Welcome viewers and subscribers to my channel, The Backstory and More. I am Audrey. If you are interested in knowing what happens before each Sunday school lesson, you are at the right place. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. Let's begin. The backstory is last week's lesson. Today's lesson continues from last week. Therefore, the backstory is told in this week's lessons summary. Verse 11, Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Verse 12, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Verses 13 and 14, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Verses 15 through 16. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. Verses 17 through 18, And came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Verses 19 through 20. Now therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. This is a gentle reminder Please help this channel grow one viewer and one subscriber at a time. Thank you in advance for all that you do and all that you intend to do to help this channel grow. This is a summary of Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 22. Paul equated life without Christ with spiritual death. Death is the actual physical consequence of sin. Death is also the result of alienation from God, being disconnected from our power source. Therefore, our conversion is a kind of resurrection. Romans chapter 6. A pagan lifestyle of gratifying the cravings of our flesh has an illusion of life, but it is powered by the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the devil. That power is false and fleeting. Every person of every religious background is guilty of sins of the body and the mind. A righteous God is justified in repaying such rebelliousness with eternal death, but he saves us at his own expense. First, our salvation is a product of God's grace, not of anything we have done or could do. It is, in fact, categorically impossible for any person to be saved by works. Second, salvation being a gift is not something we can take for granted. The fact that God did all the work to bring us back to life doesn't mean that we can kick back and relax. Quite the opposite. We are saved for the purpose of good works for Christ. 
While we are not saved by means of good works, a faith that does not result in works is not a saving faith. James chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. We may struggle to understand the significance of the circumcision issue for the church of Paul's day. Circumcision was the distinct mark of being a Jew. Although every human body is unique, the fact the body of every Jewish male bore the same distinguishing mark. So important was this mark that Jews divided all the people in the world into two groups, the uncircumcised and the circumcision. But one thing trumps a mark on the flesh, and that is blood in the veins. Through Jesus, the distinctiveness of circumcision was erased by grafting Gentiles into the same bloodline. Sometimes peace comes about only when something is first destroyed. Christ is the one who are, is our peace. See Michael chapter 5 verse 5. Because he has destroyed the work of the devil. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory and more. Stay safe and may God bless.